there, everybody. It's me. It's Professor Bro Man. How are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. You're having a good time. I figured that we would take some time since it seems to be the topic on everybody's mind right now and talk about is destiny in a place where it is embracing the casual player too much now to before we go further in the conversation we need to define what that means uh casual doesn't mean like somebody who sucks uh it doesn't mean that like you're a piece of garbage because you're not like a hardcore hobbyist it, it doesn't mean that that you don't love the game or like any of that shit. okay uh what it does mean is that due to life circumstance, a casual player, whether by desire or the fact that they're busy, just doesn't get a chance to play as much. You know, maybe 30 minutes a day or an hour a day or whatever. Uh, and I all I think that most of us can agree that when we boot up Destiny, we're having fun for like, you know, an hour or two, no matter what we do. You know, you have that thing that made you turn the game on. And then after you do that thing is when the problem shows up. Uh, so there are a lot of things to do in Destiny. I mean, like, just right now, I don't even have a full set of bounties. Um, you know, I can craft gear. I can get Fractaline to harvest. Uh, I can wear some of my Saint-14 shotgun. I got one. I got one. I'm about to sneeze. I was going to show it off. <laughs> nice YouTube video. So after you get into an hour, um, you know, that's when you start looking for the next thing to do. You look for the, the chase item. Maybe you look to group up, do Iron Banner, do a raid, do whatever. But right now in Destiny, despite there being so much to do, I feel like there is not a very, very strong incentive to do it. And from my side of things, there's a, a couple of reasons why. One, the change in power, power levels. So I, I, I busted my ass to get to 960-ish close. To the seasonal transition and then you know 960 drops as you know the new soft cap which makes sense it's it's bringing everyone including free players along for the progression but my issue in doing so it negated the hard work uh and here's the thing the chase is important and i understand that there's a new chase and i understand that every single season will probably gonna have a little bit new power to chase you're gonna have new pan and, and you know pinnacles to hunt down to stay at max power i just don't see a reason in game to engage in that <laughs> um when there's a raid it makes sense uh and the new raid's pretty good you know it's a solid raid it's got fun mechanics it's interesting but I don't find myself wanting to hop back in uh, a billion times, you know, like Vault of Glass or Crota or King's Fall or whatever. Um, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about like, well, why do I feel that way as somebody who's put, you know, thousands of hours into the game? Why, what, what makes me pull back right now? And I think that the big, one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle is you need to be able to have these engaging one hour sessions with the game. You also need to have long chase items, which there aren't really, well, there are a lot of technically getting to 970 right now is a long chase. But the thing that's different now is that if you're trying to chase down that long chase, you're repeating content. Um, so like if I wanted to maximize my pinnacle gains, Right, let's uh let's go to the old map of Rooney. The old map of Doodle Do. And you know, we have all these activities, but everything that's a pinnacle reward sands one thing. So you have Pit of Heresy, you have Master Nightmare Hunts, uh, you have the Garden of Salvation, you have Nightfalls, right? Which I don't think we can fault Nightfalls in here because that's just part of the rotation. I think everyone accepts. Uh, and we have the new activity. I think if it's if it's legendary sundial, you get pinnacle rewards. You get a pinnacle pull from this, but it's a little jump. That's how I got my uh, 963 here. So that I mean, that's a pretty short list. Um, and when it comes to new activities, none of the new activities offered pinnacle rewards until legendary uh, sundial drop. 
So as a player who plays a lot, it sort of seems like you're you're not being fed the sort of stuff that you need, uh, especially when it's the. I understand Pinnacle's a little bit more forced end game play style, but if you introduce new content and there's no mechanical incentive behind engaging with it other than ooh sweet cool new gear, which worked, which worked for a while every every the first two weeks when the sundials were opening up and people were getting in there they were grinding for their perfect rolls and that's that's great but once you've got that there has to be like that really long tail chase so we're talking about like a new raid which is unreasonable to expect every month every season but at minimum making the new content whatever comes in with the season more engaging is incredibly important so like what does this look like? One of the solutions, and this is <laughs> this is a PvP solution for long-term engagement there, but it's not a, uh, I don't really have an idea for PvE, but something I've advocated for for a long time is seasonal ranked ladders. So what are seasonal, like, and I know what you're thinking, oh, like fucking insert competitive shooter here. Exactly. After talking with a lot of people who, you know, used to run trials and do carries and all this other stuff and asking so many people, why, why did you engage in trials of Osiris every single weekend uh, in D1? And yeah, there was a huge community and culture and focus and attention and, and attention gets more attention. But the reason people initially jumped into there was you know, they wanted to flex on their friends. They wanted to say, I got this, you didn't. I went to the lighthouse, you didn't. And it was an opportunity to do that every weekend, right? Since Bungie's committed to seasonally locked rewards, uh, I think the idea of having a ranked playlist, maybe it rotates between specific, you know, playlists or play styles every week. You know, one week it's control, one week it's clash, one week it's rumble, or it's like all solo shit. And you fight your way up into the top 1%, top 5%, top 10%, top 25%. And each person or each player in one of those rankings gets an exclusive reward at the end of the season no one else can get. You know, a set of universal ornaments that said, I was a crucible god during the season of the dawn, or you know, I was uh, I was undefeated in Season of the Undying or whatever. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Professor Bro, man, that's that's all well and good, but but I'm not convinced. And that's the that's the reality is I'm not convinced either <laughs> that that would work. What I am convinced of and what I do know is that Destiny needs to evolve now that it has a larger player base and there's all these new people in here. Season of the Undying was as the season was rough, but that period of time was solid. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of new information, uh, a lot of new activities. And I think that as Bungie's going forward, tailoring the model of content to try and better fit what season of the Undying was like instead of what season of the Dawn was like, is like, might be the play. And yeah, they can bring back trials and yeah, they can bring back a whole bunch of other stuff. But I think ultimately for the hardcore player for the person who plays all the time destiny's sort of in a place where it doesn't feel like i need to put my time in in order to get the reward scaling that i want and i think the way to change that is to make more interesting <laughs> i mean it's it's all about loot right more interesting rewards more engaging long-term encounters uh there's things that people have been asking for and wanted in the game like procedurally generated strikes and stuff you know every what everybody thought that the 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 infinite forest was going to be along with you know a whole laundry list of other stuff that people want like more raids more reasons to do raids um and we can go into ways to take the content that we have right now and reimagine it to make it a little bit more interesting i actually think that would be a good series <clears throat> because i like to make things as palatable as possible and you have to live inside the realm of reality of what you know a dev team can actually do not that i'm a game dev but you got to give suggestions that make sense so in conclusion because we're going <laughs> we're going youtube long right now destiny is probably in one of the most fun places it's ever been but i think the heavy lean into making it super ultra fun all the time for everyone whether they play for 30 minutes or 30 hours you know a week has taken the game to a place where it's difficult to engage with it long term um for this season and that could change dramatically in the future i 
I bet that it will. But for now, that's kind of where Destiny's at. Some thoughts on what I think that could change, and I guess we're going to have to make a few more of these videos. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate you. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, give everybody a hug.